I know you've been following the, the, the story. I know you are going through the same thing. You've done everything for your husband to appreciate you. You've done everything for your, hus your wife to appreciate you. But when it comes to for time to appreciate, you're not even acknowledged. It's so painful. He said, Mommy, one day, my husband was celebrating his life. And then the birthday, and the same thing he repeated. That I think people spoke to him, so he had to bring my name into it. But this is how he, he did it. He mentioned Kofi's name. He has been a blessing working with him for all these years. This and that is what he did for me. Mention Juliet's name. This is what he did for me. Mention um, Josie's name. This is what he mentioned names. When he got to my turn, my husband said, and my beautiful wife. Then he just jump over, my beautiful wife, jump over. And then started saying things he didn't mention. That the only thing he brought me in is my beautiful wife. That's all. Then mentioning people, what they did for him, how he has suffered. Everything he said was, I, I, I. I felt so bad and I still feel bad. And make you understand. There is this couple. They've been married for seven years. And the woman said, Mommy, I feel I love my husband so much and he doesn't love me the way I love him. He said, One day, Mommy, in our marriage we had issues, as we all know. We had issues. And on the day of my husband's party, my husband was having a birthday party. The day of my husband's birthday party, there were tables set on the high table. And as usual, as a wife, I know I'm sitting right with my husband. There were like six chairs on the high table. So I sat, my husband's mother was around, and some of the friends were around. So my husband was sitting in the middle, the mother was there, and I sat with him here, and the other people were there. But because it was my husband's party, I was just going round, taking care of things there. Then I came back to see with my husband. Then my husband said something to my ears and said that, get up from where you are sitting. You are not sitting here. I'm going to call somebody to sit there. Mommy, you could just... Imagine how I felt in front of the whole crowd. He said it to my ears, though he didn't say it in the mic, in my ears. I felt so bad. How to get up from there? Where will I sit? So I had to be smart and do something. So I just got up, went to where the food is, trying to be busy, get some people food. And my husband took the mic and he said that, I want to appreciate some people in my life. My husband was able to appreciate the mother, appreciate some friends, appreciate some people in his life, but never mention my name as a wife when he was appreciating people. And then, to, 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 my, to my surprise, my husband mentioned people he wants them to sit on the high table with him. I thought he telling me to get up was enough. But my husband said this, that my mother should sit here. My brother, my, he called people that want to sit on the high table. Never mention my name, the wife. Mommy, I cried at the back of where we're having the program. But I need to come out to make people feel like all is well. And what I was so shocked is I would never give up. I was seven. I even went to the table, served them food. But mommy, I was dying inside. And one thing that got me so much angry is when everything was almost done, my husband went to his, like, let me say his office. Where we're having the thing is like a church. So when we're having the party and everything, it's, it's in the auditorium we're doing. It's my husband went to his office 
And a lady, my husband was supposed to marry years ago, but they didn't marry because the lady never accepted him. Came to the party because my husband invited her. And then when she came, she gave one person um, information to go and tell my husband, she's here. Mom, you can imagine when I saw this lady, how I felt. But I smiled off and went to her and welcomed her to sit down. And when they gave the information to my husband that the lady was in my, then my husband gave the information for them to, to come and give to me that I should go and serve that lady. This is when you marry a man or a woman who doesn't love you the way you love them. This is when you marry somebody you want to do everything, do everything to make your marriage work or your relationship work. And they don't see it that way. When they, they get to a time they want to appreciate people, they don't appreciate you. But you've done a lot. When you met that man, when you met that woman, she was a nobody. He was a nobody. Excuse me to use my words. But through the journey together, God has been able to bless. Because the Bible says whoever finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtain favor. And now things are working for the two of you. And your husband keeps on forgetting that maybe it's also because you are around him or you are, you are around her that has made things work for the two of you. And when you're not being appreciated, it's so difficult. It's so painful. She said, Mommy, as I'm telling you my story now, tears is flowing. It's been years this thing happened. I'm still dying inside. My husband gave the information to come and tell me to serve the lady. And he gave specific things I need to do for her. The things my husband told me to do for her were beyond the things we even did for the high table people. But I kept quiet. And my husband told them when after serving her, I should package things for her to go. And when I finish packaging things, I should lead her to his office. And because I love my husband, I did everything he said I should do out of pain, but I did it. And I led the lady to my husband's office and I walked out. Can you imagine the pain? My husband never said sorry. He never, he never realized he has done wrong, nothing. He said, Mommy, another instance is that I once went to my husband's office and on his computer, I saw the background of the computer the lady's picture on the background of my husband's computer. The picture comes in so many ways. It was all about the lady on my husband's computer. And mommy, one day, another instance is that one day, my husband's phone was ringing and I just picked it. I don't know what happened. And I went to his messages and I saw my husband Addressing the lady as my beautiful queen and my beautiful African queen. Mommy, I never asked my husband anything, but the pain is too much. He said, Mommy, another instance is that I went to my husband's office one day and I saw the lady in my husband's office. Can you imagine? My husband has never in his office served me a drink in his glass. Never. He has never, I've never sat down with him in the office talking, laughing and everything that he would serve me drink in his office. But when I got to my husband's office, my husband was together with this lady. They've served, my husband has served her a drink in a wine glass as he has, he has also served himself. When I entered, I entered because he sent me to do something for himself. I was taking the thing. When I knocked and I opened, the way they were happy, talking, drinking together, I didn't utter a word. I just gave whatever he told me to go. I gave it to him and I went back. With all the pain, with all the, 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 the sorrows, I felt because I love him more than he loved me. He never thought he has done me wrong. He never apologized to me. He said, Mommy, my husband will never care. I can't beg or ask my husband for anything. He doesn't care what I eat, what I wear. 
All he cares when he wants to eat, he gives me money to cook for him. Apart from that, I don't have anything else to ask my husband because he'll give excuses here and there. I don't have that and all that. So, mommy, I don't ask anything for my husband. But can you imagine, I saw a message on my phone where this same lady asking my husband for money and my husband invited this lady to come to the office. And I saw people there waiting for my husband. The lady came late, but my husband just will let everybody go first. He's not even ready to see anybody, but he's ready to meet this lady, have a time with her and talk. Mommy, I'm asking you this question. Is it good to love somebody or the person loving you more? I know you've been following the, the, the story. I know you are going through the same thing. You've done everything for your husband to appreciate you. You've done everything for your, hus your wife to appreciate you. But when it comes to for time to appreciate, you're not even acknowledged. It's so painful. He said, Mommy, one day, my husband was celebrating his life. And then the birthday, and the same thing he repeated. That I think people spoke to him, so he had to bring my name into it. But this is how he, he did it. He mentioned Kofi's name. He has been a blessing working with him for all these years. This and that is what he did for me. Mentioned Juliet's name. This is what he did for me. Mentioned um, Josie's name. This is what he mentioned names. When he got to my turn, my husband said, and my beautiful wife. Then he just jump over, my beautiful wife, jump over. And then started saying things he didn't mention. That the only thing he brought me in is my beautiful wife. That's all. Then mentioning people, what they did for him, how he has suffered. Everything he said was, I, I, I. I felt so bad and I still feel bad. Is it good to get somebody who you love? Or somebody who loves you more. My dear, it's always good that we love each other. It's always good that we appreciate each other. It's always good to remember that even the person has been bad or whatever to you, you are still with the person. Appreciate them. When my husband finished everything and sat down, the next person that put, picked the mic did something that tears came down from my eyes. The next man of God, the next um, person that was supposed to speak, picked the mic and said, let's call our sister Juliet, the wife of this man. She's a blessing. She's a woman I want all women to appreciate. The journey she has gone through with this man has been a blessing. Without her in this man's life, he wouldn't be where he is. This man appreciated me for almost 20, 30 minutes. And the whole congregation was standing and clapping. So it means that the whole congregation realized the pain I was going through. They realized how I have been rejected, but I'm still in the marriage with this man. I can relate to your pain because sometimes you wish, you wish that they can take a minute to appreciate you. Sometimes you wish your name can be mentioned and within five, ten minutes it will be all about you. My dear husband, you need to do that for the wife. My dear wife, you need to do that for the husband. When you love somebody so much, you are ready to do everything to make them happy. And sometimes you don't even care about you, but you care about them. If you love a woman so much, you don't care about her faults. You love her, you appreciate her. You make the world know, this is your woman. As I always say in my short videos, I'm not leaving my husband for anybody. It doesn't mean my husband is a perfect man, no. But I overlook so many things to appreciate him. I don't want to look at his faults and his mistakes, but I want to look at the good aspects of him and make him feel that I appreciate him.
Do you do the same for your wife? Do you do the same for your husband? So the question she's asking me, Mommy, I think it's better to get somebody who loves you more than how you love them. And it's good to get somebody who appreciates you, who, who sees you, who, who honors you. How can you do this to a wife? No matter what she has done, no matter what has gone wrong, Sometimes some of the men want to use that to punish their wives, maybe because of something you've done. If you can't forgive, you can't love. If you can't overlook the mistakes of our spouse, we we'll always have this pain in us. Many of us are in pain because of our husband's attitude, our wife's attitude. You helped that man because you loved him so much. And when he got to a certain stage, he never, he never looks at your side. Because it's so hard when you love somebody so much and they can't see, they can't appreciate it. The woman asked me, Mommy, is it wrong to love my husband so much? He doesn't feel what I feel. He said, Mommy, my husband doesn't care how I feel, if I'm happy or not. All he cares, mommy, when he sits me down, is the things he wants me to do right for him to be okay in the marriage. And dear, listen, marriage is not one person. Marriage is for two people. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome back. God bless you so much. Please uh, go to Facebook and like and share our page, The Real Woman in Me. Go to YouTube, subscribe and share our page, The Real Woman in Me. And go to Instagram, at The Real Woman in Me. And God will bless you so much. We are just live here on Praise TV every Monday, 10 p.m. to 10.30. This is The Real Woman in Me show. My lady, Reverend Mr. Charlotte Udo. God bless you so much. Mommy, is it good to get somebody... You love so much, more than he loves you, or get somebody who loves you more than you love him? That is the question, and that is our topic for today. He said, Mommy, I'm in the marriage, but I'm not happy, because I love my husband so much, but he doesn't care. I mean, my husband does everything without, he doesn't tell me anything. My husband respects people that work with him. I mean, maybe it's my fault. But if he loves me, he can tell me where my problem is so we can work it together. He's always there to direct, do this, do that. But I can't direct him. I can't do anything in his life. I can't share anything with him. I'm always alone. Mommy, I'm dying. I'm always alone in my pain and in my sorrows. Mommy, what do I do? My dear husband, listen. You need to listen to her too. She has needs. She has things she wants in life. He has things he needs in life. Marriage is not one person. It's so bad when you're not being appreciated. It's, not, it's so bad when you're not being loved by somebody you love so much. But if somebody loves you that much, please love them back. It doesn't take anything from me if you appreciate your wife or your husband. Don't pretend as if you love her. Because when you love somebody, the other person feels it. Some women are dying in their marriage because they thought they, thought they would get love back from their husbands. But all they get is pain. Some men are going through pain because... They love their women so much, but their women don't care. Let's make it work. If you are lucky, you got somebody who loves you so much and doesn't care about your mistakes, love them back. Because it is not easy to get somebody who loves you for who you are. You know, some of us, we feel, and some of you, you feel that your husband is with you, but you know he doesn't love you the way you love him. You know she doesn't love you the way you love him. 
you don't you, you can talk some people talk and it's me the way I've suffered the things I've gone through the things I've, I've been through hey, I've been blessed so uh, this you have a wife you have a husband and anytime you talk it's all about me me I I do you know how the other person feels when you talk like that a man will be talking about his success. We're talking about how God has lifted him in the ministry, lifted him in business, lifted him. Oh, I built, the, I built this house and all that. Hey, I've, I've gone through a lot. Oh, without even acknowledge there, was, there has been a woman all along. There has been this man all along. If the woman never supported with money, she has been there. If the man never supported with his money, he has been there with you. Can we just one day, can we just stop it? And acknowledge the people in our lives. Make them feel important. You never appreciated your wife the day that people were expecting you to appreciate it. You never appreciated your husband the day that people thought you could give five, ten minutes and talk about your wife. No. All you could say was that, and let's thank God for my beautiful wife. And that's it. But you had time to say, and I've been with this Kojo for all these years. We've gone through this, we've gone through that. You're able to say the things you've done together and even call Kojo and let the world know how far you've been with the person. But you, you were never able to spend even five minutes whilst you were giving your presentation and talk about how your wife has also supported and how you can't do without your wife and how you appreciate your, your wife and how the world cannot be okay without your wife or your husband. Do you care how she feels? She was smiling all along. He was smiling all along. He, she has to pretend as if all is well. He has to make the world feel all, all is well. But deep down, she was dying. Deep down, he was dying. You, you get people, when you're organizing things in your church, when you're doing things in your office, when you're organizing things, when it comes to money, when it comes to things, you don't bring your wife into it. You don't bring your husband into it. You have people you do those things with. What is important in your life? What is as important in your life? When it comes to planning, doing business in the church, the church growth and all that, your husband's life, her life, you don't get her involved. You don't get him involved. She just stays back. And that's what you want her to do. That's the things you want him to do. Please, marriage is for two people. Not only you being happy, what about her? What about him? Do I go for somebody that loves me more than I love him? Yes, yeah, sometimes it's good to feel loved. So you can also give love back. Sometimes it's so good to see somebody loving you and sacrificing everything to make it work. Please take time to appreciate them and love them. You give attitude. You, you show them attitude as if, as, if they don't, as if they can't do with it. Somebody will say that, I picked you from the gutters. I made you who you were. Oh, my dear husband. Oh, my dear wife. Yes, it was true you. But please stop. Stop putting it on her. Stop, stop dropping it on her, on him every day. Somebody needs to get somebody to be blessed. You think it's only because of you she's blessed or he's blessed? You think you where you are, you are there because of you can do it? No. It's true somebody, maybe true her. You don't acknowledge her efforts in your life. It is time we stop this me, I, I. And acknowledge our partners and our spouse in our lives. If she loves you, love her back. If he loves you, don't disrespect his love. Love him back. Appreciate whatever he's doing in your life. Stop robbing the things you've done for her in her face. She's human. She has feelings. You hurt her so much. Many men are dying in pain. Many women are dying in pain because they love their partners so much. But their partners don't acknowledge them. My dear beautiful lady, send this to me. Let your pain go. If your husband doesn't love you, Talk to him about it. Remember this. God loves you. Continue loving him. One day, maybe he will learn his lesson. 
my dear husband, I know you have done a lot to make her get to where she is. And she doesn't appreciate it. Don't give up on her. Let's continue doing it. Speak to her. Address issues with her. Communicate with her. Pray about it. She will get to understand. And you, the lady that is not appreciating and seeing the importance of your husband in your life, sit down. Analyze things. Respect your love and his love for you. Respect his time with you. Respect every time he is spending with you and appreciate your husband. My dear young lady, he sponsored you to go to school. He did everything for you. Today, you got into a point you think he doesn't deserve you. Be careful what you do today or you do to somebody that loves you so much. Be careful the woman who has given her all, her time, her life, everything to you, her pride, to love you and to make it work. Honor the woman, pamper the woman. Spoil her with your money. Make her feel loved and wanted. Take, I'll make you all.